How to select research methodology. Step-by-step -step guide. Overview. Selecting research methodology. Number one is understanding the qualitative research, quantitative research and mixed methods research. Number two is selecting a research methodology is based on nature of the research, norms of research area and practicalities and Number three is example of selecting research methodology. Number one is understanding qualitative research. Qualitative research uses an inductive approach, is used to build theories, takes a subjective approach, adopts an open and flexible approach. The researcher is close to the respondents' interviews and focus groups are oftentimes used to collect word-based data. Generally, draws on small sample sizes, uses qualitative data analysis techniques, for example, content analysis, thematic analysis, etc. Number two is understanding quantitative research. Quantitative research uses a deductive approach, is used to test theories, takes an objective approach, adopts a closed, highly planned approach, the research is disconnected from respondents' surveys or laboratory equipment are often used to collect number-based data. Generally, requires large sample sizes uses statistical analysis techniques to make sense of the data. Number three is understanding mixed methods research. Mixed methods is a research approach whereby researchers collect and analyze both quantitative and qualitative data within the same study. Mixed methods research combines elements of quantitative research and qualitative research in order to answer your research question. It is a procedure for collecting, analyzing, and mixing both quantitative and qualitative research and methods in a single study to understand a research problem. Number two is selecting a research methodology is based on nature of the research, norms of research area and practicalities. So first of all, we will explain the first point which is nature of research. It is first important factor that is each type of research whether qualitative, quantitative or mixed, has a different purpose and helps solve a different type of question. So, it's logical that the key deciding factor in terms of which research methodology you adopt is the nature of your research aims, objectives and research questions. But, what types of research exist? Broadly speaking, Research can fall into one of three categories. Number one is exploratory, getting a better understanding of an issue and potentially developing a theory regarding it. Number two is confirmatory, confirming a potential theory or hypothesis by testing it empirically. And number three is a mix of both, building a potential theory or hypothesis and then testing it. As a rule of thumb, exploratory research tends to adopt a qualitative approach, whereas confirmatory research tends to use quantitative methods. This isn't set in stone, but it's a very useful heuristic. Naturally then, research that combines a mix of both, or is seeking to develop a theory from the ground up and then test that theory, would utilize a mixed methods approach. Now we'll explain the second point which is norms of research area. Proper selection of your research methodology also involves scrutinizing and considering the approaches used by other researchers in the discipline or studies with similar aims and objectives. Researchers from same disciplines often follow a common methodological approach or set of approaches. While it doesn't mean you should follow the herd, you should at least consider these approaches and evaluate their merit to your research's benefit. Now we'll explain the third point which is practicalities. When selecting a research methodology, there will always be a tension between doing what's theoretically best, such as the most scientifically rigorous research design, and doing what's practical, given your constraints. This is the nature of doing research and there are always trade-offs, as with anything else. But what constraints, you ask? 
When you're evaluating your methodological options, you need to consider the following constraints such as Number one is data and literature access. Number two is time and money. Number three is software and equipment. Number four is your knowledge and skills. Number is example of selecting research methodology. By illustrating the process of selecting appropriate research methodology. The research topic is the role of organizational leadership in promoting sustainable construction practices in construction organizations. And the research aim is to investigate the link between leadership ad sustainability and produce a support framework towards the promotion of sustainability practices in the delivery of construction projects through leadership within construction organizations. Here you need to extract information by skimming rest of research article and search research philosophy of the research, research approach, research strategy and research choices or methodology which will help you to understand overall research article. Thus, you have relevant evidences that is, why you have selected research tools and procedures based on reasons for the choice of any information regarding research such as research philosophy of the research, research approach, research strategy and research choices or methodology. Further need time horizon if applicable, methods used for data collection, unit of study and data analysis techniques. Thus, you have relevant evidences that is, why you have selected research tools and procedures based on reasons for the choice of any information regarding research, such as time horizon if applicable, methods used for data collection, unit of study and data analysis techniques. In short, by making such summary table will help you to easily select research methodology for your thesis, dissertation or research article. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.